Hello, my name's Matthew. I work for Kingston Libraries, and today I'm going to show you how to access the Ancestry Family History website from home. Now, the first thing to do is get onto the Kingston Libraries website. You can get access to this from the Council's website, and I'm sure that there's going to be a handy link at the bottom of this page. Now, in order to access Ancestry, you are going to need a Kingston Library card and a PIN. If you don't have a library card, you can click on the join the library bit here, fill in a quick form and you'll get a temporary library card. Now to get onto Ancestry, scroll down uh, the page slightly and just over here on the left, uh, underneath digital library, you will see Ancestry. We also have a press reader just above it that's access to free newspapers and magazines and just below it you have our ebook and e-audiobook providers. But for Ancestry, click on the link here, put in your card number and PIN. If you don't know your library card PIN, um, then just give us an email. And the best one to use is kingston.library at kingston.gov.uk. Once you put those in, it takes you through to this window here. And if you just click, click on Kingston, uh, the Kingston Council Ancestry link, it takes you through to the Ancestry homepage here. Now, Ancestry has millions of records and it covers many, many different countries. But the best thing to do before you get started is actually just to jot down any bits and pieces that you know about your family history already. And always, always, always keep your notebook to hand uh, because once you get going, it's very handy just to quickly write down any bits of information you find out. Now, the best place to start is with the census records. The most recent census that we have access to is the 1911 census. And next year in 2021, we'll have access to the 1921 census. So to do that, click on search here, select the census and electoral rolls, and then that takes you through onto this bit here. Now you don't need to fill in all of the details here, but the more information that you can fill feed into the website, the better results. So we are going to look for um, a certain famous author uh, because it's always good to have a nice starting point. Now, one of the things that Ancestry does is you don't need to know the exact spelling of names. You don't need to know the exact birth date. What you can do is you can select how familiar you'd like it to be. So we're going to put down similar on that one. Um, 1812, we're going to give him two years either side. Um, now, fortunately, I happen to remember that uh, Dickens was born in Portsmouth. Um, however, he lived in London from quite early on. Um, ooh, there we go. And so I'm just going to click search with that bit of information there. And we're going to see what comes up. Now, straight away, we've got a very good hit here. We've got a Chaz or Charles John Dickens. So even though I spelt it with an I on the first page, it will pick up similar spellings as well. And if you hover the mouse over here, you can get a quick snapshot of um, the person's details. So we've got Charles John Dickens. So it's looking good. Um, living in Bloomsbury. So again, we know that we're on the right track. And the birth year is the same age. So when we click onto the link there, it takes us through. And so you start off with this bit of metadata about the census record there, and you can look down and you can see who else is there. Now, this particular um, entry, he's listed as a visitor. People are either listed as the head of the household, sons, daughters, grandchildren, wives of the head of the household, um, or they're a visitor if they happen to be there on the night that the census took place. Now, when you click on that, um, view the actual record, you get through. Now, it does take a little minute for your eye to adjust to writing in the 19th century, but right there at the top, we have Charles John Dickens, and under occupation, we have author. So we are pretty certain that this is indeed uh, the famous Charles Dickens that we were after. Now, that was a very quick, um, intro onto how to get started on Ancestry. Do keep an eye out for any other web uh, videos that we'll post in the future. Thanks.